Looks good. Everybody's perky this morning. They're nice and cool. We were a little worried about them yesterday swiveling after the transplant. It's stressful on them to move, but every single body seems to be doing just fine. On Rebecca's to-do list today, I think the secret to success to growing cabbage is getting it covered. Uh, all the brassicas, the cabbage, the broccoli, the cauliflower, highly susceptible to bugs, that's gonna help. Oh boy, this is gonna have to be unloaded. Can you unload that for me while I'm milking? All right, we gotta milk. Jonas asked me to go do the doors. Why do you need me to do the doors? Huh? It's just hard. Well, that fills up for the luchadors. Looky here. All the spring crops are gone and planted. Now it's just the summer crops growing. End of this month. Oh my word, I came. I'm just walking by the <laughs> strawberries and asparagus. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's like 10 inches of asparagus right there. Another asparagus shoot. Yes, that's ready to eat. Right there. And we've got flowers on our strawberries. That You know where there's a flower, there's gonna be a fruit. I really wanna be milking because there's so much to do, like move pigs, move sheep, move cows. It's a big day today. Good morning. Before luchadors, during luchadors, after luchadors. The luchadors are uh, wrestlers. Spanish for wrestling. They do wrestle. They more bump their heads. This is our mobile wrestling ring. Moving them around like this gives them fresh grass. Gives the time gives the grass time to rest and recover. Therefore, doesn't damage it. Actually makes it stronger. And gives them rest from any parasites that might be left behind. They die off by the time we get back here. Our goal today is to move animals, to keep healthy, happy, productive animals and land. That's our goal. I can tell you right now, there's gonna be many, many obstacles between us and that goal. Who knows what's gonna transpire. It might be that. <laughs> Just picking up some toys that the kids left out. Or how about some fiber tip posts that have been left out somehow. All right, I was about to head over and check on the chicken director chickens before I milk, and Lily's calling me. Oh, you need help with Donald? Watering Donald's not letting me get Okay, in. did you turn off the fence? Yes. Donald the guard goose is more guardy during the spring. Yeah, he's just doing his job. All right. Wow. Hey boys, what happened? We're not supposed to... They didn't put the chickens up last night, so normally Lily can do these chores, but Donald's still in the coop. Yeah. He loves you too much. He won't give you a moment in the garden. I heard this whoosh. And then all of a sudden he was at my feet and I was like, you just went right through that electric fence. Okay, so I sent it doesn't even for the leash, him. but pfft. Okay, why are we both getting a leash? You can't let the dog out. He's gonna stay inside. Oh, okay, I thought we were gonna get the leash. Well, no, he... Get in, if you bring the dog out, put him on a leash. There's definitely one thing more important to your mom than Teddy's happiness. Look who just came. Teddy! Come here. Come here. And that's you the know, garden. I feel like he's getting fat. She loves... The vet told me to feed him so much food, and I think it's making him fat. Well, uh... I'm not Teddy, even feeding her. She's happy with you until you get her in her garden, buddy. I know. Okay, no. come on. You had a question? Hang on, Lily. I'll help you. Boy, I'm in hot demand this morning. I just want to know how far apart I'm supposed to do this because I don't want to do this. How do I know? What does the instructions say? They say close together. That's not close together, probably. Okay, so 
One, two, three, four. That's like four feet. Should I do two feet? All we need them for is our, our brassicas, right? Yeah, should I put so them put on it, this brassica? Put too? them as close as two feet? Should no. Should I put them on the kale? Not kale. Well, it said. Oh, really? But. We've never had a problem with kale, know, but if you I, want to, go ahead. We've had a problem with kale. I mean, we might have had a little bit, but we The problem with this, okay, yeah, you don't want to put it so close, because mm -hmm. the problem is we're going to have to hoe. We don't want it crazy close. Okay, is that too close? No. Okay. So you're on protecting the precious cabbage? That's right. I bet I'll even get her to kiss the cabbage if uh, these are success. Like We've always had a hard time growing cabbage. I bet I kiss the cabbage. You will? I kissed the cabbage last year. I'll mark those words. And then can I eat that cabbage? Of course. Good. Kiss and eat. All right, what's the plan here now, Lily? You just rack them and I put them, I clean out the water and pour it. Hey, we ought to make the boys do these since they forgot to put your chickens up, huh? I'll let you know if he breaches it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, let's pour it out. Get clean stuff. <laughs> Lily, you gotta catch him some greens, honey. Penguin, you the only one that wants any of that grain? <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Brown? Now he's calling me. How to just like plan my rest. <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? All right, let's go. I would tie him up back here if Flossie catches wind of him. She's gonna get upset. She thinks he's a big bad wolf. You gotta stay back, Teddy. Not everybody sees you as a fuzzy, lovable teddy bear. Oh, that's my CMT alarm. Check, let's check, let's do a routine check for mastitis. All right, let's capture some of the milk for the test. Gideon, you wanna give her five scoops of alfalfa? It's absorbing right in, that's good. Can I go with the cows and the sheep? Really? Mm-hmm. You wanna do that? You'd rather do that than milk? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the things they'll do instead of milking. Okay, I see Stud already went where they're gonna go. That's beautiful. Uh, well, I want you to set, hold on, come here. Spring has officially sprung. That means moving the animals every day. Josiah, see this paddock? See this huge paddock he's in? See it? Okay, see that? And it needs to be, it needs to be divided into a four. Actually, weren't we gonna put them over here to let them do some of the mowing and the luchadors? Just bring him, just bring him over here. Look how tall it is in here, guys. Clover, grass, so rich, look. This is like 18 inches tall right there, that grass. We're gonna need to mow it, because by the time the sheep will get here, they'll be matured. So why not hit it with the cows for a day or two? You wanna just put the cows in here, and then um, make sure that fence is up down there. Okay, the sheep are going in here after the cows. Start your sheep fence right in there, okay? And then this will be up when we move them this afternoon or later. But I need to be with you for the move because we're going down this lane for the first time and we'll see if it's gonna work. Okay, Miss Thang, sorry for all the distractions. Let's do it. Let's see, we're running out of alfalfa. Where's Jonah? I feel like he should be done with the small animals by now. Jonah! Jonah! Mom's got her posts up. I wonder if everything's all right. What's what what's what's next for you, Beck? I'm gonna put the insect netting on. Okay. But I need a pair of scissors. And <laughs> that you've been looking for since 5:30 this morning. I've been looking for scissors since earlier because I needed. I had another project I was doing inside that needed scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so these scissors were so important. We have life. three pairs of scissors that a particular child has run off with. Do you have them on it? Yes. This is the insect netting. Okay. And it will go over. Mm -hmm. Do you want to help me put those up? I'm asking Casey about moles. I did see that layman's had a mole thing. Oh. You stick it in the ground and it vibrates mm -hmm. it or something and it makes it Oh, leave. neat. So I'm thinking that we may should get some of those. Cool. Um, Let's see what Casey thinks about those things. I'm going to see what Casey thinks. Go! Go! Right. <laughs> Mom and her garden. Right. 
She's gonna be standing out here. She's after moles, cats, out. dogs. Out. Out. <laughs> no, I just. They got I any cat so traps hard. too? <laughs> oh, look, Becky. Thank you. Where were they? In the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. On our toy bed. I have bought. I Buy some scissors. I, bought, I purchased about eight pairs. Yes. I purchased some kid scissors. Had them. That are for them only, and then I'm hiding all my scissors. Love it. Where's Stud Muffin? <laughs> Wait, I actually saw well, him. If he was a I bear, he would have grabbed you. He's in the tree there in his new paddock. Actually, we want to herd him down though to the luchadors' oh, pasture. Say, What'd you say? So this is a short row, but I'm just thinking about the future, and in the future we may want a 50-foot row. Yeah, you need to do 50 feet, and then just and roll then it up roll at the right end. Here. Yeah. Okay. All our all our row stuff needs to be 50 feet. Will this also serve as frost protection? No, but we can just lay the agrabon over the top of it. Okay. Get in. Look like you might want a little sweater. You want me to help you find a sweater? Yeah. Okay, and then you'll come, you'll stay out, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I was 30 minutes early to milking. I'm now 15 minutes late. What? Why is your uh, neck wet? Why I've been sucking on it. You've been sucking on it? Well, that's not going to help you stay warm. You're going to wear that big old coat. Yeah. You must be like me. You must be grumpy in the morning. Okay, why don't you wear that sweater? You're gonna wear both? both. Yeah. No way. Yeah. It's not that cold. <laughs> this is the problem. Where are you gonna put both these when you're burning up? Tell me. Oh, you're gonna bring them back in here? Yes. Okay. But they're wet. Okay, you know what? I'll give you a peanut butter roll if that actually happens. Okay. Can I go milk my cow now? I should. Ask everyone. <laughs> everyone, can I go milk the cow now? What you doing, Josiah? Getting stud muffin in the paddock. Do you need help getting stud muffin? Yeah. I just been in my garden. Okay. This is looking nice, Rebecca. <coughs> That's all there is to it? Yeah. And then put a sandbag down? You need some sandbags then. I do. Josiah, can you come get mom some sandbags real quick? Jonah, how are you going to carry them up there though? The wheelbarrow? Yeah. Or are we going to drive Sally up there? We'll drive Sally. Okay, let's go. All right, babe, you need anything else before I go? Milk? Nope. It all looks good. Now I need to help Josiah. I want to help him move stud muffin. This clover load is absolutely incredible. That's what you get from rotational grazing. Richer grasses. Well, and clovers. If you just leave them in one spot all the time, they eat the good stuff, eat the good stuff, eat the good stuff, and the bad stuff thrives and the good stuff dies. All right, he'll be just as happy down there. I bet you're already done. <laughs> yep. Well, we'll see how still you stand without alfalfa. She actually does pretty good. You here to help? Yeah. Good. Hey, Teddy up. Hi, mucho leche. Yes, Lily, we got a full bucket. That is two gallons. Thank you, Flossie. Let's check on mom's progress. Just say, will you put her out and then come help me with ice? <sighs> Lily, will you bring uh, Teddy? Thank you. So we're done with the insect netting. Looks really good. Do you think I need more sandbags or do you think that's I'm okay? I'm happy about this. Why don't you just try it and uh, we'll put more if we need it. I was looking at Curtis Stone's video mm -hmm. on this. Yeah. And he, um, he didn't have that many sandbags. Okay. I don't know. Good. I'm about to do the Jang Cedar. Okay. If we electrified this, do you think that would keep the cats out? We could try it. Or I my don't. other thought was that I'm just going to stay out here and spray them. <laughs> You're hardcore. The hose. I'm oh. actually going to ask Casey. I think Casey yeah, told see me see what to he does about cats. Hose. This is why I'm having such a hard time with this. Yeah. Last summer, after I planted, I planted, mm -hmm. I planted this garden. Uh huh. And the cats came in and pooped and destroyed all the plants. It's annoying. And so that's why I'm like. Can we put a uh, 
kitty litter over there or something, or that's not gonna help. No, we can one's attacking the mouse. He's got the mouse right now. I think it's gonna be so minimal though. Or do you think this is gonna be their potty? It can't be. It was last summer. Hmm. You know, fence would keep them out. The shock or not. The shock or not. Also, check Premier Ones and see what their garden fence is like. Oh. You, they make a little small garden fence. It's for little rodents, like rabbits. Well, I'm afraid the cats would just jump over that. Oh no, they're not. Uh, okay. Well, that's that's how. Yeah, I'll look. Email I'm Joe. Look and see. I'll email Joe. Email Joe while you're at Joe. it. All right, while we're here, let's check on the chickens. Oh, guys, we moved it over. I felt like I was a little too close to that walnut tree. But look what they did in three days. <laughs> Are you serious? That's what they did in just three days. That's absolutely incredible. We moved it over. We wanted to be the drip line of any trees. Um, and here they are. This is day, well, this has been one day now. And look, they've already done a really good job. Arun's back, ready for some more work. Let's see if your pile heated up. I know it's shrunk, so we'll add more material today. But look at that, Arun. That's exciting. I got it skyrocketing up. It's gonna be a hundred or more. One hundred and thirty. It's going over one hundred and thirty. Perfect. That'll kill any weed seeds in there. It's going up to one forty. It can be as much as one sixty. So that means you mixed it right. Enough manure. Enough uh, carbon. Enough water. Look, dude. One fifty. So happy about that. So it's supposed to be one. Uh, how much? One thirty to one sixty. Okay. We'll kill weed seeds. Start the composting process. I heard some commotion. The cat get in here again? Yes. I and? sprayed him down. Okay. I didn't get him as good as I hoped. All right. Good job. What are you working on now, Mom? I'm gonna seed this with my Jane seeder. Okay. You know what? Uh, let's put the time lapse on you guys while I milk the next cow. Okay, I just finished putting away the milk from cow number one. Still need to do cow number two. Are we having problems? No. We're just doing it. You're just changing out the cedar and your jang? Yeah. That's a thing. Okay. You You're in good hands, Mom. They did get the bed nice and smooth. That's important for direct seeding. How's it going, guys? It's going great. Good. Okay, it's going good for me. Almost two gallons from Phyllis. You guys are doing three rows, beets. Two down, one to go. Take my milk inside in one second. What's the Jang working out for you? Great. It works amazing. Someone asked, and I don't want to run videos, what are we doing with all that compost? Every year, we take from these gardens. We grow up produce. Well, we want to give back. See? Arun's putting it down. Thank you so much, Arun. We've got a whole... He's just putting a light layer of compost down. Thank you, chickens. That's all part of the Animal Garden Miracle. Chickens helped us prep this garden, fertilize this garden. Now they're making compost for this garden. This garden will grow, and then when it's done, the chickens will then come in and work it and get what we didn't eat. I hate a twig. Uh, the Jenga cedar hates twigs. Nice. Um. Puppy in one hand. Gardening in the other. Teaching him how to do the jang in the other. Well, the, the, seed, the seeds are in the tray there. Yeah, you can got a little disc off. pushing them out. Oh yeah, they're going out through there. That's neat. And I just can't get over how good that looks, Rebecca. What? This garden. All right, let's get that milk inside. Look who's back. Hey, have you guys seen this fence update? Randolph, it's looking so good. Good morning. You gonna hang a gate today? Gonna to try to see if okay. it'll work anyway. Good. This is our plan to have both a fence and yard and eventually we're gonna put poultry wire on the other side of that and it will actually keep in our fence and we won't need our the electric poultry net right there. We'll have a permanent run for these guys. They're not going anywhere. They're always gonna be here. It's time we build them a fence. You look ready to go. I gotta go do the pigs. We're gonna meet up at 10.30? Mm -hmm. Yes. Funny, I thought I would have time to move those pigs. I'm not gonna have time to move the pigs. <laughs> you wanna know why they're giving two gallons strong? Spring grass. Woo! It's here. No need for hay today. Just saw you set up our sheep fence. 
Me gusta. Is that good? Are we doing a good job? Yeah. The dog has been one of our issues. Jumping He's, on. Uh, not Teddy. Not Teddy. He jumped on the sprinkler. Oh boy. And toppled it down. We were he like, no. Okay, is it doing good? I mean, like, yeah. is everything getting wet? Yeah. If you guys feel saucy, you can pick up the tarp and We are. Stuff. We are. All right. We're just getting this done. It looks really good. Que pasa, chanchos? Oh, baked out, baked out. Yuck. Oh, no. Why didn't I do this out here? Okay. That's disgusting. Getting licked by a pig. Disgusting. We didn't get the sheep moved. We didn't get the pigs moved. But we got the the the, the beets planted. And what else did we get done, Rebecca? Bug netting put up and water. What she was saying was, we got the bug netting up. Yes, and uh, beets planted. Beets. And watered them. Okay, yeah. So we still got a lot done. And milk, four gallons of milk. I have a dozen. I brought that. I brought Can we have a cookie for breakfast? Yes. Cookie. Because everybody did their thing. Uh oh, I see potatoes in our near future. That's right. We had to skip potatoes last year due to the gaps, year, but. We're not. We've introduced them again and we're fine. And I'll get this footage uploading. And I'll get editing while you're taking the potatoes out. All right, well, these are onions and carrot seeds. And the potatoes are out there already. Okay, maybe I'll put this on a time lapse. You can take it with you. Okay. How you guys doing? They have been out here all day, both of them. All day yesterday, all day today. It's been kind of a nice day though with the cloud cover. And they've planted onions, onions. What else, Rebecca, in this row? We've got onions, carrots, onions, and two rows of potatoes. This row and the rest of this row will be another batch of onions that was supposed to come with this onion. I'm thinking these guys are gonna need water Yes. Before we, you know, after they're stressed out, after the transplant, we need to go move the sheep. Um, let's get the sprinkler. So I'm gonna set that up and then I'm gonna stretch this tarp back over this. We have onions on order. They were supposed to come with these, they didn't. So we need to cover that because who knows where they are. Make sure our sprinkler's set up right. Perfect. It's going that way good. Perfect. It's gonna rain tomorrow, but these things are under stress, so we'll get them some water. The garden's going good. We got 45 minutes till supper. We gotta get the sheep from way over there, across the road, down through here, down through this lane, and into here. So they're gonna have to go all the way to the end and over. So let's just repair this lane where it might be grounding out. Let's get it real hot and that'll deter them. But it's a gamble, it is. Because they can certainly jump through this. Let's grab some hay. Come on, Josiah, we're gonna move the sheep. Pretty good, guys? Jonah's no putting up a lane across the road. Okay, good. Are we seriously, they're not gonna jump this little tiny line? They are. They're gonna come down through here. They're gonna get in the chute and then get into our lane. No problems, right? Rebecca, you're gonna lead with hay. Oh. If it's anything like the past, they're gonna just run right by you. And I'm thinking but just kind of jog behind them, I guess. Where do I start? Because, but you don't want to startle them through. You don't want to startle them through the fence. Right. 
ship, 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 ship. They're just interested in the grass. Come on. That's ship, okay. Hey, ship, everybody ship. move. Make slow movements. I'm going to let the other ones get out before I advance these guys. Yeah. We want them to stay together or they panic. <laughs> jo Josiah, you step up and be the block there. And Jonah, you go in and get moose. There you go, Mom. Here we go. All right, Mom. Come on, ladies. Shoot, I'm going to put some pressure on them. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going, Mom. Keep going. Keep going. We'll get the. They got one jumped out, but we got to keep the other four focused. Hopefully, we'll get this guy back in. Oh, good. She went back in. We're doing good, guys. Mom, you're doing good. You're staying ahead of them. I don't want to run too close to startle them. Mom can only run so fast. You're doing good, Mom. Hop, 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 hop. Something's scaring them. I think it's the sprinkler. What? All the way at the end. They've never seen this stuff before. They're going right through. They're doing so good, Mom. Okay, you're almost there, Rebecca. We're pretty much in the clear here. We've only got a... Yes! They did it! And you got a little jog. Woo! Hey! We didn't forget about you. Come on. Whoa. Hey, he's feeling good, feeling good. No, don't jump him out. Hey, hey. All right. Good flying, Josiah. <laughs>